All of the ingredients could be tweaked to your desired taste, but if you follow this direction, it is a perfect blend. So I'm adding to my preheated pan my milk. Okay, let's get into some of the ingredients. The package I'm using is a mixture of cream and sugar, so it will be extra creamy. And that is 30 grams, so I'm using half of that, which is 15 grams. So I'm adding all of the ingredients to my measuring cup and mix everything up. And once my milk is heated, I am then going to add all of my milk to this mixture. As I mentioned, all of the ingredients could be tweaked to your desired taste buds. You can cut down on the coffee, add the peppermint. Click the bell for new. As I previously mentioned, we're now going to add the milk to our ingredients and we're going to make sure that everything is dissolved properly. I am using that packet and not just plain chocolate because it gives it a more creamier taste because that packet have milk, sugar, and chocolate. So instead of using just a plain chocolate powder and you use like a mix, you get a real taste, a real nice chocolatey, creamy taste because you're already adding extra milk and sugar. So once I'm finished, I am going to add that to my cup and add some marshmallow. I am not using whipped cream. As I said, this is a simplified version of the Starbucks drink. I would do the original Starbucks drink. Thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this really quick, simplified version of a Starbucks peppermint mocha. I'm going to show you how I made my shredded and pureed pumpkin bread. The difference is the taste. The pureed is more a pumpkin flavor while the shredded is more of a bite and a light color. You won't taste so much of a pumpkin taste in a shredded like you would taste.